That won the Indy 500. Indy 500. Is what it's Coca Cola 600 people would say. But we love Indy just as much. Very cool to see. And that's why these guys, you know, a lot of new drivers in this division. Look at Waters. Oh, Trevor Huddleston around. And here comes Gary Waters. Backs it down nice and slow. Caution out. Lap 14. Hey, is this starting to remind you of the last race with these two? Oh, it's a great race already. Oh, Jessica Clark around in turn number four. Lost it all by herself. Blows it down, yellow flag. That Anderson may have the better short-term <coughs> car, Tommy. But that was a great restart for Porter. Here's on the track tonight for Andrew Porter. Coming out of turn number four, Andrew Porter is going to win the Langer's Juice S2 division and take over the points lead. And Michael Lotto. Oh, Bill Waters! Oh! Time. Right now. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Lucas Oil Modified Dash. We go green. Six laps, six cars, and a sideways one. Moreno Valley is his home. Love Lady to the inside of Kwasniewski. Flag. Can Martis get around of Ham? It is tight. Out of turn number two. This is what trophy dashes are supposed to look like. That's right. Ham gets a run down the back straightaway, but Martis to the inside. Out of turn number four, it's Doug Ham collecting the win <laughs> in the trophy dash. Okay. Not to be rude, but I think this is the only time I'll let, you'll ever see a pace car faster than the race cars. Watch the start, it's awesome. Green flag out. Chance towing Bandoleros. Race number two of the weekend. They race Friday night. The 33, you see three rows back on the inside. Danny Nikolai won that one. Can he double down tonight, Jeff? Look at Ricky Lewis now making his move to the inside of Ricky Schlick. Hard charger of the race right now. Starting ninth, up to third. Oh, uh, they're, they're blossoming. <laughs> It's an accordion of epic proportions. 22, 22, 22. Oh. Sorry, we're enjoying the accordion. Go back in line. Green flag will be coming out oh. right. Accordion. And Nikolai too looking to the inside. He's going to try to double down tonight. And of course, the driver we've been keeping our eye on the entire night as the Weaver goes sideways is Lewis. Field. Man, spins man, out. Alexis, man, good job on the 17 of it. Oh, 22 around, and we're crashing into the wall. Doing a little block job on Womack. Oh, and the 18 makes contact with the 48, and we're crashing them. Yes. Like I said, we're coming out for Mr. Double Down this weekend, Danny Nikolai, the 33. McGee second spot, Lewis in the third. All we gotta say is welcome back, Lucas Oil Modifieds. We go green, 50 laps of action here on the half mile. And the 11 already having problems. Looks like Mike, the engine went. Mike Salm from Lakeside. Side-by-side -side action between the 83 of Randy Ussery and the 13, you see, of Tristan Rear. Oh, contact! And they somehow kept it going. The number two car, Dave Arce, as you see, is not very happy with Garrett Yamada. Yamada almost wrecked that entire front turn. August. Oh, the one car trouble in turn four. Looked like a tire went down or something broke in the right front. And the car just stopped turning mid-turn and into the wall he went. Five, 15 laps to go. Look at the move Martis is making on Morse. Morse sideways, Martis gets the position. Battle 
going into turn number one. Do with them. Dives are low, going into turn number one. And slide job. Oh, contact. You can see the body panel fold up just a little bit as a two touch. 51 versus 51 with 15 laps to go. Huh. These cars just fan out on the restarts. Bards to the inside trying to reciprocate a move. Slides up in front of Martis and Bards clears. Here comes Martis back to the inside. He's gonna do the same, same thing. Same move, not gonna clear him. We got ourselves a race here. Don't look now, Kwasniewski trying to get by Morse for the third spot. Oh, Bard sideways going down the back stretch. Earlier today during qualifying when the track was hot, but now that the track's cooled, the car is still as fast. Austin Bard's coming out of turn number four, the winner of the Lucas Oil Modified Race. More battling going on here. Side-by-side <laughs> -side action. But again, not a race for a position. That's right. And it, we got battlers. Hey, check out the 51 car right now going up against the 51 car right now. Bump drive. See what I? You see what I did there? I did. I repeated. Green flag out for the Lucas Oil Sigma Super Late Models. Pushing going on. That was almost dangerous. Navo leads us to the green. Oh, Navo sideways and around. Uh. That was exciting. Really working that inside line right now with that 17 car. RJ's pulling away. Are you sure there's not like one lap to go? Uh, through night check. Rod Johnson Jr. out front. Been leading since lap number two, I believe. Yeah, when the uh, 39 car lost it. Side by side now for the third position. We had three cars finish the Super Late Model Race. They had like 20 start. <laughs> and we had this guy. We did? Green 75 lapper. Echo equipment, Landry cars on the track now. Kale Kanky, Mitchell DeYoung, green flag. So that's only two drivers of the 20 that are out here in this race tonight. And we and you spoke to Papa Jim early on. Those two had a violent crash on the back straightaway last race. Um, how's Papa Jim's updates? Uh, he said he's still sore, but the bruises are going away. He's eager to make, get back on the racetrack. Oh! Oh, boy! 360. And we uh, keep it going with no contact <laughs> with any driver. No yellow. Blake Dunkelberger having Johnny to go on. Johnny Stenhouse to the lead. Feel bad for Blake Dunkelberger having to go on the apron of the half mile. Jared Torres coming out with a new looking paint scheme there, the 07, Aaron Wells to the inside, he's looking to make a four wide if he can. Here we go, white flag in the air, and shook to the inside. A little brake lock up, Donnie Zanauer is holding him down, Mitchell you better be ready if they make contact. Through turn three and four, they're bumping, they're rubbing, and it's going to be Shug. Woo, race! Oh my goodness! That was awesome, and we knew it was going to be like that all along. Three, that'd be kill Kanky. I mean, that car's been through a lot in one race tonight. Burning down. He's burning down the house. That's just adding insult to injury. But they didn't. They. I don't they know. I don't know how they're... I don't know how. Yeah. <laughs> These cars are still open wheels. Maybe by a couple of an inch. All right, now it's time for the main event, the pick your part, Outlaw Figure 8. Now we'll turn one go. It's all about getting through this corner right here, it seems. And they do it. Everyone, everyone do it. You see in front.
front of the number 20 of Ron Davis is Jeff Marquet. <laughs> seven, seven stays hot on the case, and uh, we're side by side for the lead. Will the seven let him go for it, though? We'll find out. I have bumpers. Hot Rod gets around. Jay Henson in the one trying to get around the seven as well. Out of turn four, across the line, Hot Rod Proctor, the number 21. I was, I was getting Wins intense. the race. The seven is Steve Stewart in the second spot. And crisscrossing through the intersection, Jay Henson, the number one. 